hey guys what's up what's doing it's your girl star and i'm back again with another reaction video if you're new to this channel for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing and i love and appreciate you guys so so very much so today we'll be reacting to christian missionary attempts to explain christianity to dr zahir wow at, at the look at this of this this seems like it's gonna be heat you guys so without further ado let's dive right in can you hear me I got to know you yesterday and I tried to watch some of your videos on YouTube and I try as much as possible to listen to you today when you speak. So I respect your faith and being a veteran in the faith. So sir, I'm not here to compete with you as a veteran. And I'm not here to argue because I know this issue that we are actually talking about has led. Yes, sir. I'm not giving speech. Okay, so the question I want to ask is that would there be a way that there is going to be a generation or this our generation that we are going to come to the position of uniformity of faith? That's all. Thank you. The brother asked a very good question that is there going to be a time in our generation where there will be uniformity of faith? Yes, there will be. Quran says that. When will we all believe in one faith? Today we know because people are misguiding and there has to be to know what is truth, you have to verify. That's what has come. So we believe, as I told you, Islam is the only non Christian faith which makes an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim unless he believes in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Does the church say you have to believe in Prophet Muhammad? No. So, only where uniformity can come, we believe in all the prophets of mentioned in the Bible. We only tell you, take one step forward. Believe in Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad has been prophesied in the Bible. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 12, verse number 29. In the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. He was also prophesied in the, in the New Testament. He is prophesied in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse number 16. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 11. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 11 to 14. I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that he shall he speak. So for uniformity, there should be similarities. So only way you can get uniform is by following the true teachings of Jesus Christ, not the teaching of the church. So if you study the Bible analytically and follow the Bible only, not the church, not putting words and trying to say Jesus said he's God, never really said that. Because of this wrong teaching of the church, there can never be uniformity. In Islam, I cannot be a Muslim until I believe Jesus is a messenger, until Adam is a messenger, until Moses is a messenger. I have to believe. So uniformity is coming from Islam side, not from the church. And will it happen? Yes, it will happen. I ended my speech by quoting a verse of the Quran, which is mentioned thrice. In Surah Tawbah chapter 9, verse number 33. In Surah Fatah chapter 48, verse 28. And Surah Saf chapter 61, verse number 9. Huwa alladhi arsal rasulahu biluda wa dinul haq li wazira wa ladini kulli that Allah sent his messenger Prophet Muhammad with guidance and the of truth so that it will prevail over all the other religions all the other isms whether it be atheism, communism socialism, Christianism Buddhism, Hinduism Islam is destined to supersede all Kulli master them all how much the idol worshippers don't like it and enough is Allah the witness and the hadith says there will be a time before the world ends. For seven years, Islam will rule the world. For seven years. Whether it will happen after five years, after ten years, after fifty years, I don't know. 
but there will be a time when the world will be very peaceful for seven years. That is the saying of the Prophet. Whether it happen after five years, ten years, thirty years, I don't know. But it's going to happen. Hope that answers the question. Brother, do you believe that God is one? Do you believe God is one? Do you believe Jesus is God or is the messenger of God? He is no God. But no, that means you didn't listen to my talk. You heard the you heard my question answer with the earlier person, and that's what we did. You, I heard it. But didn't I tell you no way does Jesus say he's God? No way. Correct. Correct. There are two Lord. One can be Lord or human being, no problem. But Lord as God, no. You know, we call like how you go in UK. UK to title you give Lord so and so. So that's Lord, no problem. You go to the court and you call the judge, me Lord. No problem. So there are two types of Lord. One is human being Lord, one is God Lord. You call him human being, you call him God. I'm asking you in English language when you open the dictionary. In English. Brother, look at here. English, English language. If you open the dictionary, Lord has two meanings. One is human being, like the judge, a respected person, you call him Lord, no problem. The second meaning is God. So are you talking Jesus Christ, the respected human being, or is he God? Yeah, um, if you are talking about his earthly work, we can refer to him as Lord, but there is also a divinity dimension of him being Lord. Lord of our I That means you faith. are just like the other people. Heard. I gave you so many references. My father is greater than all. My father is greater than I. I can of my own self do nothing. I can of my own self do nothing, Jesus Christ said. I can do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. For I seek the will of my father. All these verses clearly show that he was a human being. He was not God. So why do you want to give divinity to him? No problem. Thank Sir, you. I that think means you, you don't you want the world. Question. You don't want the world to unite. You don't want the world to unite. You are, you are disuniting the world. You are disuniting the world. I have come here to unite the world. People like you, they disunite the world. The Bible doesn't say God, yet you want to say God. So you are helping those people who don't want to unite the world. No, I am a Dai. Nowhere did Jesus say he's God. Neither in the Quran, neither in the Bible. Yet, Christians like you, you want to disunite humanity. I'm sorry to say, you may respect me, but I don't respect you. Because you are here to disunite the human being. When Jesus is very clearly saying in the Bible, in the Quran, Allah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, my Lord and your Lord. Yet to say, Jesus is Lord. Thank you, brother. The most welcome. Next question. Sir. Thank you. I thought you, I understand. Unless you don't you change say, your sir. statement, you can go, please. Can we have the next question, please? I don't know guys but that i think that was a little bit too harsh by dr zahir i know that everyone has their belief right he's saying that he he's saying that he comes to to bring um everyone to reunite right the question that the gentleman was asked in was when will there be only one religion where everyone believe in the same religion the same god and so on right and dr zero answered that the prophet said that in seven years might not be the next seven years to be exact but in seven years for seven years there shall be um one religion and the whole earth shall be of peace shall be peaceful right so because that um the gentleman said that he believed that Jesus is God. Um, Dr. Zahir, I think he, that he was offended by this, which he should not, because we Christians, we do believe, right? 
that's our belief just as how he believed that um there is prophet muhammad we believe that um jesus was the last prophet and that um when jesus died who became christian who be um became believers of god of jesus um they took on the holy spirit right when they were baptized they took on the holy spirit they received the holy spirit that's what we christians believe in right and so the islamic faith is about believing in allah and believing that prophet muhammad was the last prophet right and believing that there is only one god which is allah that's um the muslims believe right and so because that um this gentleman said that he believed that jesus um was and still god um dr zahir said that he is he lost respect for him and um, he is trying to reunite the world and every religion but persons like that gentleman is the reason why there is division but to be honest i don't think so the reason why there is the division is because of the devil the devil comes to steal kill and destroy and i know if we don't allow it it won't happen but these things shall come to pass right these things shall come to pass where um we already seen it though the end the end of them we're we're seeing so many strange um things happening right we see so many strange things happening all over this world where um parents are turning against children children are turning against parents um, um persons that you find in some countries um persons are eating um they're becoming cannibals they're eating humans which is so disgusting but this is what i'm talking about so the world was already when sin came into place the world was already divided because in the bible there was um there was a tower i think it was a tower of Baal. i don't remember but there was some um they were marching around the tower the tower right and uh, some believe the some believe this, some believe that. And because of that, no, there was a tower that was supposed to be built. And God did not want this tower to be, to be built because it was a tower that was going to be um, be about um, idolic worship, I think. Don't quote me on that. But that's, uh, that's, that's what I remember. And because God did not want this, there were some persons, God that god um made that was that began to speak different languages some speak french some speak um spanish english creole and they all because they could not understand um each other some went to the north some went to the east some went to the west and the tower was not built right this is what happened when we go against god they began to speak in different language in strange lang languages right and if you if you are working with someone that speak spanish and you speak french you there's no com um compatible right it is not compatible right there's no compatibility so this is what happens so division was there right and it takes more than one person to re reunite this world this sinful world right so i don't know how he's gonna do that but like they said, Islam is the um the religion of peace, and I I can see I can understand that this is what he wants um the world to be of peace. We all do. We all want peace of mind also, because every day our our minds are battlefield, and this is what the devil, the enemy the devil is using to attack young people, attack um um children of God right we have to be um steadfast we have to be vigilant we have to be in the word of god to stay strong in our faith to continue to resist the enemy to resist the flesh right to resist the things of the world because the things of the world is what is drawing us right join us in to continue to live in our sinful ways Anyway, guys, we come to the end of another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. 
You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing. I love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. Let love lead the way. Bye, guys. I wish I had a time machine. You turn me on like a light switch.